Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Odor. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, in between episodes I was wandering around with my group, going to Green Gate or Dale, Green Gate, glaube ich. Um, and on the way there we were ambushed, or I don't know what happened, but we can't avoid it. So... Can you? Can you move slowly? Because there is... There are some... If there are some, some people around... I'm trying to do me some damage. I want to be... Not seen possible. Okay, even more traps. Interesting, but there are no people around. Everyone, move forward. Camellia, stop. So it's just <clears throat> oops. Okay. Ill bafflement. These are not nice people probably. Here are prayers. Um accept this sacrifice, bafflement. Whom do they want to sacrifice? Because your praise be to Iomide. Okay. It's him, the one who killed our brothers and sisters. Have to, have to the killer die, die. I think we have to fight now. Good that we <clears throat> put out all the traps. Hey, there is Wolchif. Wolchif rises from the stone throne and holds the sacrifice with a raised hand. Cultist holding the knife over the victim on the altar stops. Wolchiff is wrapped in blue flame and the demonic shadow rises up. Hey, I hoped that he would come back. It doesn't look like he's coming back to us. He was a better thief than Camellia. Easy now. We are all friends here. Really? 
is he, are we? <laughs> this was just a little misunderstanding. You thought you'd come across Crusaders, but they are big fans of our Lord Baphomet too. Wolf Chief half turns to you, his right eye twitching, which you interpret as an attempt to wink discreetly. Ain't that right? Well, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, a misunderstanding. Hail Baphomet. Right, exactly. Pilgrims of the world womb meet the finest member of our big family. Hey there, chief. Long time no see. Why don't we hold off on the sacrifice for now? We need to drink to this happy meeting, am I right? Yeah, let's do that. Tie that one on the altar up again. We'll get round to slaughtering it later. Hold this either. If the crescent of the abbess says so, then welcome. Make yourself at home in the temporary camp of the pilgrims of the world wound. But why did you attack our brothers? I took them for common brigands. I wanted to sacrifice those crusaders myself. <laughs> well, bullshit. Why did we attack our brothers? <laughs> Because uh, the chief sometimes has these fits of insanity and battle rage. It is a blessing from Lord Baphomet. The chief goes crazy. He goes crazy and gets twice as strong as normal. But if the blessing kicks in at the wrong moment, well, that's just bad luck for you. I've had to get away from the crazed chief a few times, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cultist casts a merry glance at your weapon, but passes no remarks. It is good that the crescent of the abyss, our beacon in the darkness, and our oracle has resolved this misunderstanding. Relax, friends, and after, if you wish, you may join our pilgrimage. <laughs> Okay, so, Amelia, go do this. Where is it? There it is. Let's move up to him. Old Chief is waiting for you next to the altar, verily wiping the sweat from his brow. Phew, I thought I was done for. I could feel it in my tail that they were gonna kill me. If you ain't a sight for sore eyes, Chief. When I heard that the gargoyles hadn't got you, that you were running the show up at present now, I can't tell you how happy that made me. But that night it all happened, I tell you. I was so scared, I couldn't see straight. I wandered around, wondering if my chief and the rest of the gang were lying in an open field with their eyes pecked out. Even my conscience prickled a little, thinking about how I ran. But when you look at it from my side, what else was I supposed to do? The actual paladins were getting cut down left, right, and sent. And then these pilgrims of the world won't tell me that Dresden's been reclaimed, that there's a new commander called Slarty Bartfast. Well, I said to myself, there can't be two demon slain dynamos with that name. It must be you. So I cut my way through the circles around Dresden, and I waited for you to come out. At one point, I got so desperate, I almost went right up to the city walls, but I thought better of it. Although an arrow in the skull would be a sight better than running in fear of Lucien. 
Smolchev sucks in a breath and keeps talking in a rush, like he's afraid you'll turn around and walk enough. Do you know Virgil? I don't either, but I remember the name because of what Mother Meldrum yelled in the basement at the time. I'm going to tell Hebs, Mira and Virgil, or something like that. Anyway, my shadow told me that Virgil is that demon and I should be scared of him because he's after the moon of the heavens. But the shadows, a whole other story. But if you want to know why I haven't just come to Dresden, I need your help. It's a matter of life and death, Chief. Mm. Slow down, you're not making sense. What's going on here? Okay, I'll shut up. I mean, I won't shut up, but ask me what you want to know, and I'll tell you. That was my canning plan, Chief. Wolchiff's tail is whipping back and forth so that fast it's a blur. Why are you pretending to be a cultist? I usually send every cultist of Baphomet to Erasma. Now you're going to tell me why I shouldn't do the same to you? Pretending to be a cultist of Baphomet? Good thinking. But why did you ask me to do it? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, Chief, I'm no cultist and I didn't just ask you to play along for the fun of it. I had a reason, I swear. And it's not because I've seen what you're like in a fight and I know I've no chance against you. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you probably don't have a chance against my pig, but I'm not that scary. Why did you run the night we fought the gargoyles? Run? Me? I fought them. I, you, you should have seen me. I got one right on the nose, sent it past, uh, sent it past over the cattle, and it flew off. I've gotten into scrape the fair a few times before, been caught by surprise in the dead of night, more times than I could can count. So that's why I leapt up quick as anything, grabbed my knives and, well, of course I made a run for it. What else was I gonna do? I'm just a thief, a city boy. I don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with demons. Sure, I said I'd help you and all, but that was before I didn't sign up for nighttime gargoyle attacks. What kind of idiot attacks in the middle of the night? I thought war could keep would keep civilized hours, to be honest. Wrong again. So apologize, Chief. But I always end up on the winning side. It's just my nature. You and your lot in the camp that night did not have the look of, the vi of victory about you. And it's not like I'd have much help if a gargoyle snatched me in its claws. Of course, I decided to run. And run I did. A relationship with the Batman cultists. It's complicated. It's a story of unrequited requite, requited love, really. They love me, and all I think about is how to get away from them and save my own skin. <laughs> how did you end up with the cultists? Or, well, you seem to have got yourself a nice little setup, maybe. I should just leave you here with your underlings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, probably I can't get out with a lawful stuff uh, from that. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. Same way I ended up anywhere. I end up anywhere. I was walking and walking and then here I was. Oh, I should mention at this point my shadow, you know it. Well, it started talking. At first I was so scared. I thought there was someone growling behind me, but then I listened closely, and it was my shadow. It only got out a few words, but I heard the name Bootsiel, and I learned that he's a demon, and that he wants my moon of, that he wants my moon of the abyss for some reason, and then I learned which direction he was looking for me in. 
When I heard that, I turned around and went the other way. I'm not an idiot. Those pilgrims of the world wound lapped me round the head, and I woke up, and they were already dragging me to the altar. I said to them, Brothers, don't drag me to the altar. I have a proposition for you, one you won't want to miss. But they paid no attention and kept dragging me. In the end, I had to show them my party piece. They saw my shadow and dropped to their knees. Just like that, I fed them a line about how I can speak directly to Baphomet through it, and they leapt it right up. That's why I'm still alive. You said some shadow's been talking to you, is that right? Not just any shadow, my shadow, my special shadow. I spent a while running around the world wound, scared out of my wits. I suddenly crept out and whispered in this distant sounding voice, Virgil of fear, Virgil. And the name was familiar because that's what Mother Melrune yelled out, and I put two and two together. This word chill was in the north, and I needed to make sure he didn't find me. Bit by bit, I got the shadow to tell me that Virgil was a demon, and that he was looking for the moon of the abyss. Who knows why? By the, by the way, I have a couple thoughts of my own about the moon. I'll tell you about them once we're out of this mess. Remind me why I shouldn't just kill all these cultists here and now. Because, Wolchiv looks around and lowers his voice in a conspiratorial whisper, they will still be useful to us if you decide to help me. And thanks for not trying to kill them as soon as you got there. By the way, their leader is a nervous sort. He would have definitely stabbed the lad on the altar if you'd caused a fuss. They think if they perform all these sacrifices, Baphomet's going to appear and hand out powerful spells like candy. What do you want from me? In a nutshell, Chief, I've got a bit of a situation here. One wrong move and I'm a goner. The demon Virgil is in the vicinity somewhere. A good man was, has suffered the cultists' are animals. I just want to get out of this and make Virgil back off. But without you, I've no chance. Help me. I won't forget it as long as I live. Hmm. Who is Virgil? All I know is that he's the demon that sent Brother Melrune to get the moon of the abyss. Now that I have the moon, Virgil's after me. Ah, this is the reason why they broke in the jewelries. He's gonna catch me soon. I can feel it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You probably deserve it because you stole the moon. What part are the cultists playing in your plan? <clears throat> Do you know why they call themselves the Pilgrims of the World Wound? Because they are itching to meet big name demons like Baphomet. It's like they are on a pilgrimage. So that got me thinking, since they listen to me, we can lead them to Virgil and mess with their heads a bit. Say that Baphomet's been calling him nasty names. And let the cultists fight Virgil for us. It'll be a riot. Cultists helping us take out the demon. Well, what do you think? Hmm, sounds interesting and good. Sounds like an arcane trickster thing, but yeah. I would have taken, yeah, probably. The arcane trickster would have been probably nice. Um, if I Play the rogue or something. Hmm. I 
What good man are you talking about? Me, of course. I'm a prisoner here, you know. And I suppose there's also the other fella, Devil. Hmm. That one's probably the really good guy. The one that's tied up. I kind of owe him one. I made a dumb mistake and now he's paying for it. Now, don't get me wrong, I couldn't care less about the guy. He got himself into this mess, except if it wasn't for me, they maybe wouldn't have caught him in the first place. These pilgrims kept asking me, will we have long to wait for the favors of Lord Baphomet? As though just because I have my shadow, I should know. What am I, some kind of demon whisperer? I just got an, on a kind of knowing air and say to him, do as you have been doing and the favors will come. They took that to mean that they needed to keep cutting people up on the altar. I tried to put them off the idea, but they didn't listen. I acted like I was discussing things with my shadow and I kept trying to hold them off. Saying that the stars went in alignment, that raining eyeballs was a bad omen. It rained eyeballs. I'd run out of ideas just before you showed up, Chief. I was already considering just letting him do it. He was a crusader after all. You know, demons would probably get him in the end either way. It's not my fault, that's how they do things. It was either him or me. Mulchiv sighs and turns away. His tail is twitching from side to side in agitation. There is one way to get both of us out, but I can't, Im can't manage it on my own. I need your help. All right, I'll help you deal with Virgil. I always knew you were a special sort of thief. Let's go break this, his horns off. We need to go to a patch of scrubland by a bend in the river. It's not far. I'll show you nothing interesting about the place at all, but that's where I was when my shadow came out and started pushing me back the other way. It said that Virgil would find me easily there that he'd swoop in and tear me limb from limb as soon as I popped up. I wasn't long turning away from that place, I tell you. Scrubland by Bandon, yeah, 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 okay, another place. There's just one other thing. We need to round up my legnies and send them off on an errand. While they are gone, we can free the prisoner. No point leaving him here to be bored stiff, right? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Listen up, brothers, sisters. The shadow has spoken. It says that a demon will come to secret place in Wasteland, where there are almost no trees left, next to a bend in the river. We once passed by there, but we took a wrong turn and didn't find it. Yeah, come on. I don't have time for this. Mm-hmm. Can we just move on? Glorious day, before we set off, I say we make the sacrifice. Ah, I say let's hold off on the sacrifice and times are wasted and demons are busy, you know? Leave your things and go. I must meditate before such an event. And when I'm all meditated out, I'll come and summon the demon to you. Hmm, this is easy. 
space does it space does the trick indeed means commander a moment of of your time Young Crusader cautiously gets to his feet, unable to believe that he is finally free. At last the day has come when those odious faces will no longer be looming over me. The cultists hid my weapons and armor somewhere. I'll find them and then take my leave of this place forever. They're over there with the rest of the stolen stuff. I made sure they didn't go walkies in the night. I hoped you'd make it out of this somehow. Thanks to your efforts, Wolchiff. Go time is of the essence. If there is a demon hunting you, better to lure him into a trap and strike first. Okay, so he has no hard feelings for him. <laughs> a true a true paladin of Iomede. <laughs> Who are you? Evalk when we are. At your service, nobleman, crusader, and only surviving member of my unit. What are you planning to do now? Find my armor and weapons, find something to eat, and then leave this place as quickly as possible. Looks ahead with grim determination. Perhaps I will die in the wound, but I will die with a sword in my hand, not like an animal at a slaughterhouse. And if I do make it out, I shall build a temple in Iomide's honor in my hometown. You are rich enough to build a temple, if you fancy it. You were complaining that your parents don't give you enough money. I think you have slightly different conceptions of what counts as enough money. In any case, money is no longer a concern of mine. My life and my legacy belong to the goddess who sent you and the commander to my aid. How did you end up here? Only through my own foolishness. Because of my inability to fight like a man, I thought the crusade would be the best way to make my mark in, on history. I dreamt of the glory of the respect that would be otherwise denied me as the third son of a noble family. When an officer laughed at my skills and called me an ignorant interloper, how right he was. Fate has a twisted sense of humor. My more experienced comrades died in the cursed place, one after another, but I survived. There were only five of us left in the end. Our hubris was gone. We were jumping at every shadow, and we still weren't cautious enough. I was the only one who survived after we were attacked in the night. I should have realized what was happening when the lookout went missing. All right then, farewell, good luck. May I omit a key? Yay, we can take Woolchief with, uh, with us. We really don't need you. Okay, in between episodes, we will upgrade Woolchiff and um, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.